remove the metal. Little taste of the before. And what it looks like. This is probably what your mobile home looks like or similar. This one has a little peak on it. Some of them are flat. <coughs> Bad holes. Bad holes. We will be adding vents on this thing because not any. I'm not even sure how they got away with no vents to start with, but this thing has never had a vent on it. That hole right over there is from a stovepipe vent, their heater vent that came out, but they didn't have any vents. So basically they don't vent these mobile homes, but we're going to. These roofs are actually more solid than you think. The 2 by 2s that are under here, because of the way they build them obviously, do have a considerable amount of strength. What we have Chris doing down here right now, if you notice, the first thing we did, check it out, this is an important step, find your rafters. We poked four holes there because we wanted to make sure we found each side and we popped the line dead center and that goes all the way across. We popped them lines every two foot or everywhere where there's a rafter. Chris is getting ready to mark off. He's got this outside one by four, it's going down here and then he's got it marked for where the next one by four is going right there. And we'll do another one and another one. There's going to be like six or seven strips down here, one by four. A little more than we usually have to use. But we're putting all this stuff on two foot on center. It's not 16s. So we want to make this thing strong. Chris is a big guy. He's, he's able to walk on the two by twos without them breaking. Without plywood. So imagine what it's going to be like when we add the plywood. From the edge of the roof, you want to mark... The centers of every two feet all the way across so you know where your boards are going. So inch and three quarters back. So your one bow will run in the right spot. Inch and three quarters back on your four foot line. We'll pop them lines and that will be where we lay our one bys down at. Here we go. Yeah, this is what we got people. You want to know what it is? Uh oh, in the shade. Damn it. It's already gotten marked. So. And then we'll do 20 by 50 right here. After we get the Syntec system. Off. So this is what we use. Okay. This is what we use 45 mil non reinforced rubber. That's what you need to get right there. Best or ABC distributing. What do you expect for $3? I like them. One by fours for strapping. OSB plywood, 7 sixteenths. A box of exterior deck screws, inch and five eighths. A pen for marking off. Straight blade for cutting. We have 1x4s by 14, that's what we got at our local Home Depot store. We use these guns for installing so we don't have to run power. Step number one. On this particular one we're going to add strapping. Every two foot with our six inch overhang on the outside edge. <coughs> First sheet.
stove pipe. Looks like we'll be getting rid of that. Yeah, not in use anymore. And we do this everywhere, and you'll want to do the same. You can find a link to these screws that we use and the drills down below. A lot of the material list. Anything that you can get on Amazon, I'm going to go ahead and put a link, put a link down below to that. Walking. There we go. I changed the frame right here a little bit. Turned up the resolution. I hope that makes it a little better. Slide it down to where you can see the hole. Slide it down to where you can see the hole. You there?